Oh, that's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fresh Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest Princess. I know. But the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So... I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> together. So, we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way, and I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so, everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have... What? What is it? What's going yeah, on? I, um, I really want you girls to try my new aromatherapy herbal eye masks, okay? Now, <laughs> close your eyes and just <laughs> focus on the delightful scent. <laughs> now, I need you to relax, Strawberry. Enjoy the eye mask, and uh, I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, a uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. <laughs> Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? Today. But Quilting Club is your favorite. Is something wrong? Yeah, this. I promised the princess I'd make waiters for all the Berrykins for their annual jam stomping. Dozens and dozens of them. And I thought it would be easy because the Berrykins are so small. But it turns out making something so small is actually so hard. You see, to make them watertight, they need little itty bitty teensy weensy stitches. Too tiny for my sewing machine. And they're so hard to see. Oh dear. Oh, that's too bad. Poor Raspberry. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, Raspberry. Oh. If only those bitty barricans were the same size as us, at least then I could see what I'm doing.
What's up? Okay, okay, everybody. They're too big, but I have just a way to make them fit perfectly. Just hold still while I... Oh, nice. Uh, did I smell bad or something? Uh, no. Uh, patience. Try the waiters on. Ta da! Wow! Oh, try some of that? Why? <laughs> well, sure. Here you go. Great! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> my first hit record. I could never hit the high notes before I had it. Now I keep it with me whenever I sing. La, 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 la. like you have your hands full. Uh, oh, you can say that again. Uh, no, cut it out! Give me your hand. Here you go. Phew! Now you see why we thought a dog park might help these guys burn off some energy. <laughs> a dog park's a great idea. I already made some sketches. I thought you could put a puppy playground here, uh, a fountain for drinking over there, uh, some places to cool off in the shade. Huck, this is wonderful. It's exactly what we need. How long do you think it'll take you to build it? Me? Oh, uh, 
I didn't know you wanted me to. We can have a grand opening next week. It could be done by then, right? A big gala, food, music, entertainment. Oh, I could sing. The Berry Kids will help, of course. We'll need decorations, flyers, invitations. Think you could help us, Huck? Uh, sure. Why not? Great. When can you start? Well, I guess I could start now. Great! This is our lucky day! Gonna give this project the highest degree of craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Nothing less than perfection. Perfection. It is the Berrykin way. Oh. Hi, Huck. Uh, How's it going? Moving right along. These guys uh really know what they're doing. Yo, uh, Mr. Huckleberry, boss. Did you want these Blivet support corners, 14 by 93s or 72 by 67s? Oh. Well, we want it to be safe, of course. Wouldn't want it to, you know, <laughs> fall down. You got it, boss. Zero, I told you you'd want the 72 67s. Sorry, boss. I'll never doubt you again. <laughs> Huck, is everything okay? Hey, no problem. I've got it covered. Uh-oh. Uh uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you better have a look at this. Sounds like they, <laughs> you know, need me. Sure it is. Couldn't be. I can see it, I tell you. And I tell you, I can't. So, what's the problem? Not good. Not good at all. Wall's crooked. We're reading point zero 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 three off straight and level. Hey, what do you think, boss? Oh, well, boy. Hmm. Looks more like point zero 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 two, would you say, boss? Zero 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 three. Well, uh, looks like a three to me. <laughs> me. Uh. Okay, people. Gonna have to tear this out and start over. Let's get some shovels on this thing. Put some muscle in it.